Hi students, how are you? This is the second class of science of grade 5. In previous class, we already learned about the reproduction in plants, reproduction by the cells and the parts of cell. Today, we shall read about the germination of cell. What do you mean by germination? Germination kya hai? Germination is the process by a seed grow into a new plant. A seed need something to grow a new plant. Seed need the right amount of air, water and warmth to grow into a new plant. At first, seed need water to solen. When the seed uh, Take water that will solen and seed coat will remove from the seed. And a uh, things that produce from a seed that is called a radical. After this period, seed grow into a another thing that is called a seedlings. That is called seedling. S double E D L I N G. Seedlings produce the root. And fill it. After this, it makes a baby plant. Then, seed grow into a baby plant. This is the process of germination. Yes, friends. Next topic is dispersal. Dispersal means scattering. Seed from their mother plants. The scattering of seed from the mother plants that is called dispersal of seed. Why it is so? Dispersal is needed to seed to get the right space to grow into a new plant. First, we have to define the dispersal. Dispersal ka aap hota hai bikharna. जब कोई बीज अपने मदर प्लांट से बिखर करके दूसरी जगह फिर से चला जाता है उसे हम जिस प्रसव कहते हैं बिखराव अब हम उसके बारे में लिखते हैं द प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच द सेड्स Scatter S C A W T E R E D. Scatter from mother plants.
This person is necessary to grow a new plant. Why? Because we know very well seed need right amount of air, water and warm. If the seeds gather in a one place, they cannot uh, produce, they cannot germinate, they cannot take a uh, uh, right amount of the air, water, warmth and soil. There are many ways to save this world from their mother plants. As first, dispersal through the air. Say disperse through the air. Bed jo hawa ke through apne mother plant se dur me jakar jalne sota hai. Some features of these seeds help them to scatter by the air. Dendrons and quarter have some features that help them to flow through the air and go to the far away from their mother plants and germinate into a new plants. After that, dispersal through the water. Dispersal through the water. Some seeds like coconut, lotus have seen with spongy features that flow with the water. And when they get the soil, they germinate. This is the dispersal through the water. After that, Dispersal through the animals. Many kinds of seeds are dispersed by the animals, birds and other living beings. As first, the bird. Some seeds like cherry, like apple, like plum, like blackberry, birds pick the seeds from plants and they eat in another plants. They eat the fruits, but they throw, sorry, throw the seeds. And when seeds get the right amount of um, Soil, air, and water, they germinate. Some animals also help the dispersal of seed. Like grazing animals. Grazing animals, that means, Vahaji, Jo Maidan Nijakar, Chartaho. Grazing animals, graze the uh, plants with their seeds. They weigh in the vestiges of these animals like the dung of cows, buffaloes and many other animals. When we uh, throw the things through the dung in our fields, the seeds that are Presents in this dance make a new plant. Some other plants disperse by the different kinds of animals. This is the process of dispersal. After that, dear students, we shall read <coughs> about the reproduction. First, we already learned about the reproduction through the seeds. 
after that we shall read about the reproduction through the spores what do you mean by spores spores are the side things that are present in plants and make a new plant like ferns mushrooms they have spores and after the dying of new plants or falling of leaves they germinate into a new plant after that reproduction through the different parts of the plant yes we know the reproduction of plants beside the seeds and the spores many parts of a plant also produce a new plant at first jaisa ki hum jante hain ki plants podhe apne beej se naye podhe banate hain फिर हमने अभी पढ़ा कि स्पोर्ट्स के थ्रू भी प्लांट्स ने नया पौधा बनाया अब हम जानेंगे कि प्लांट्स के जो डिफरेंट पार्ट्स होते हैं जैसे कि उसके स्टिंग है उसके रूट्स है उसके लीव्स है उनके थ्रू भी कुछ प्लांट्स अनुज्वल होते हैं जो नए प्लांट्स को जन्म देता है एट फर्स्ट वी सेल डी अबाउट द रिप्रोडक्शन थ्रू द रूट some plants produce a new plant by their root like carrot carrot when we cut the root of carrot and grow in soil they become grow into a new plant that is called the reproduction by roots some plants reproduce through the stem kuch ped naye paudhe apne stem se taiyar karte hain as like sugarcane potato you know very well potato potato the potato we eat the stem of potato and produce also a new plant by growing the potato stem the many i like substance you can see on the potato when we grow the potato under the soil it become a new plant and also the sugar cane you know very well sugar cane we make the sugar from sugar cane sugar cane produce a new plant by the stem some plants produce their new plant by the leaf it is a unusual plant the bryophyllum hindi mein पत्थर चट्टा आप देखते होंगे कि पत्थर चट्टा का जो लीफ अगर वह जमीन को टच करता है वेन द लीफ ऑफ डायोफिल टच टू द सोयल मेक अलू प्लांट दीज आर द प्लांट्स दैट प्रोड्यूस अ न्यू प्लांट through the leaves some plants like strawberry strawberry produce their new plant by the runners you can see the banana and other plant that produce plant from their runners that means their roots run under the soil and make the new plants these plants make new plants 
by the runners. Some plants grow from steam cuttings. These are the plants like rose. Rose plants, we can grow the rose plants by the steam cutting. This process is called vegetative propagation. That means the reproduction created by the humans. Vegetative propagation means the plants, new plants produced by the human beings through the steam cutting and another way. Dear friends, we shall read about the vegetative propagation just now. Dear students, tomorrow we will read a new topic and a few questions I am going to ask and you have to put on your notebook. Draw the process of germination of seed and define your network. Thank you dear students. Tomorrow we will read about the crops, cultivation and some other things about the plants.